Well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. <clears throat> I spent like a solid minute before hitting record trying to clear my throat, and it did not turn out well for me. Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Ouch. Christmas Eve. Or, I mean, Mega Christmas Eve. Harsh. But, we should get it. We have 7,000 already. As long as Jill doesn't get the craving for something super expensive, we should be alright. <clears throat> good evening. Ah, Jill, good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming in until some time later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with a thousand grams of black fur on my lap? Why? That sounds exciting. I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Oh, Dana's the best. Sure, why not? Alright. <clears throat> Invite any client you're acquainted with, the more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped, they found whatever, or whoever they were looking for. Hmm. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Whoa. That's different. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, this looks like a child. I want a fluffy dream. Alright. Wait, those are one of the ones with optional karma trying. Yeah, I see your ID, please. I don't have an ID because, um... I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. That, you know, that's a bold statement. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. <laughs> I almost respect the boldness of her identity. Do you have the money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I have money. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm pretty sure Fluffy Dreams are optional karma trying. Although I wonder what would happen if I put it in there. It could probably get us in trouble. Here you go. <clears throat> wow, I actually got a drink. So who are you here to stalk, Mr. Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk? Alright, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah, she pointed at Jill, or Gil, didn't she? Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas Gil? <clears throat> Jill, please. Would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid, I'm not in the mute mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic non one, because I am not stupid. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... Ah... And my jacket's doing that thing where my, or my arms are doing that thing where they get all itchy after I put on my jacket after work. So if you would please leave. I, I can't leave, not after trying so hard to even get in here. It's not like we have a bouncer. Okay, Dana's the bouncer, but she's in her office right now. Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. It took me a second to realize that she showed us our IDs and that's how we know her name. I, I thought she was just divining that for a second. How did you know my name? <laughs> Why did you say that name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. Then why wouldn't, have, why wouldn't it have had the desired age on it if it was fake? I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. <clears throat> you're very sharp, Miss Bartender. 
You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. No, this is just the way she is. Nah, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. They have been a huge bummer. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Is she talking about the streaming Chan lady or the uh, beginning where Dana found the sleeping girl? Probably the second one because streaming Chan is obviously old enough to buy her own drinks. <clears throat> but she acted like a stupid kid and that made me, that annoyed me. Incident? Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Not the right attitude to have. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I just, I just wanted to be more wild, you know? Oh yeah? Wild? Then why'd you ask for a fluffy dream? Isn't there a wilder drink that you could have asked for? I don't know. Mars Blast, for example. Wild. My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good. That's not good enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired and I don't want to do things for her anymore. Well, did you even really want to get drunk? So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. I think that would get her on your back more, lady. <clears throat> if I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. Not the right way to think about it. It's funny. I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. Is she talking about Alma? <coughs> <coughs> really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. You know, then this is just hurting two parties instead of one. And you're doing things wrong. There you go. See? Jill knows what I'm saying. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, I don't know, sculpting or something. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Sculpt belly dancers for all I care. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. And that's just spiteful and not cool. <coughs> God, I am so sorry. Let's start with doing something. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? Competitive rock, paper, scissors. I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough, I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Oh. Don't you think you s should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. Yeah. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Exactly. They think I look pretty, so I'm gonna punch myself in the face to spite them because I hate them. Doesn't work. Very. Go home, do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Call me Sue. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Oh, man. G and J, how are you doing? You're late. Missed me, Jay? You're too early. Jill just doesn't like dogs. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. <clears throat> of course, I spent lots of time training him. 
Why didn't you think he showed up last week? Because how would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Paw. Sir, yes, sir. Excuse me. Training, of course. He's only shouting, sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. <laughs> really? I thought we were just supposed to be imagining it. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm, is that a motorcycle? <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, dog's scared of loud noises and all that. Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Is he wearing his protective goggles on his arm? <coughs> yes. Bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. Hmm? Oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. <laughs> Who are you? The other one. <laughs> Go figure. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. Pretend the world is ending. It was just a motorcycle. They're the four riders then. That's the four horsemen. Yeah, those are horsemen, and it already stopped. Thanks. This guy looks like he'd be a witness in an ace attorney case. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if I looked like I'm if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something. I need a rest anyway. What can I get you? A piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars Blast. Huh? Eh? Uh, why have you changed it? Oh. Piano Woman felt too girly? Well. I'm gonna humor his first request because that was clearly what he really wanted. <clears throat> There we go. Here you go. You look happy. Shut up. <laughs> what do you do to his eyebrow? <clears throat> Is that motorcycle out yours, out there yours, mister? Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving a trail of my engine sound wherever I go, and then apologize for the noise, apparently. I'm a rebel. Screw the red lights, screw the speed limits, screw the helmet laws. The roads are mine, and mine only. I am... <clears throat> Guys, I'm going outside with a dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Hello, shady guy. Shady? I'll be back before too long, don't worry. Alright. Careful. Who is she? <clears throat> Excuse me. She's my boss. She was cute. Er, not that you're not cute. It's not like I'm into girls either. No. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... So where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. Go figure. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? <clears throat> I'm from a courier company, so it's like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but at least every intersection and every street. But I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. 
One moment, please. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna is a good reference. Saber Station is a really cool name. Or, I mean, what do I care? Fix it yourself. <laughs> yeah, the stammering... He's just trying way too hard to be this macho, manly dude, huh? <clears throat> Moonblast? Yeah, gut punch. Yeah, that one. Alright, so moon blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two. There we go. That's the stuff. Here. <laughs> this is good. It's a moon blast. I... Nah, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? Is, isn't working? Well, you keep contradicting yourself, dude. You apologize for the noise of your bike and then talk about how you just leave a trail of the noise of your bike behind. Um... You've, you've been polite until you just decide... Nah. I'm going to half-heartedly insult you. <coughs> Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom. But after that, you just looked cute. Cute. So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Well, no. Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. Well, not necessarily. If we apply that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one-third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you're trying so hard. You're, it's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers... That just sounds silly. That sounds like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Ugh. Yeah, but I don't. And it's tiring, and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. For some reason, silence is frightening to people. Like, I am not a very physically imposing looking person, but the fact that I don't talk as much as the average Joe really makes people afraid of me sometimes. And it doesn't make sense. I see. Will you have another drink, or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Get me a fringe weaver. Oh, he didn't even change it this time. That's nice. Ta da! Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil? What's up with him? Are you dating him? No. That's probably store policy to keep that kind of thing separate from work. No. Is he seeing anyone? Probably his secret society militia girlfriend. Not as far as I know. Do you think that he... He... No, never mind. I said nothing. Thank you for everything. Please come again. Ah, uh, Gil. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> eh, what? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, careful. Wow, that was fast. It's only, I've only been recording for 20 minutes. 